Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to show you how to handle jQuery dropdown fields using Selenium Python automation. Before going there, or before I practically demonstrate how to automate and select options from this jQuery dropdown menu fields, okay, let me explain what exactly is a jQuery. Okay, so what is this jQuery? jQuery in simple terms is nothing but a popular JavaScript library, guys. Okay, so you can use a JavaScript, right, for uh, creating some good elements on the web page, dynamic elements on the web page. Similarly, there are some uh, JavaScript libraries directly available in the market that will make your job more easy in creating some kind of advanced elements on the web pages. One such kind of library we have in the market, one such kind of JavaScript kind of library, okay, library which is built on the top of JavaScript which is provided to you so that using that library, you can create some advanced and, uh, you know, good kind of elements, web elements on the web pages. Such kind of library is a jQuery library, guys, okay? So, it will add interactivity to the, to the web elements, okay? When you perform some operations on the element, you can see the interactive dynamic nature of this elements, dynamic effects for the elements will be added on that particular website for, from that option and all, okay? So one of the feature, this jQuery is a very big topic, guys, okay? If you go with jQuery, right, a lot of things are possible. With the help of jQuery, a lot of things are possible. But one of the things that is possible is to create this drop-down menus, jQuery drop-down menus. Using the jQuery JavaScript library, you can create a web element that is nothing but a, a drop-down menu, guys, which has good uh, dynamic effect that I'm, that I'm going to show you, okay? What is that that will be different from the normal drop-down fields? I'm going to show you. So if you go to this, uh, you see, let's say you go to this uh, normal uh, omaya.blogspot.com, okay? omaya.blogspot.com, if you go to this uh, website here, you will see a drop-down field, which is a normal HTML drop-down field, guys. You see, you can select only one option here. But what if I show you a jQuery drop-down menu for you, okay? So you can see the dynamic nature of that and interactive and how it is different from the normal drop-down menu. Only one of the example I'm showing is a lot of things are possible, a lot of possibilities are there with jQuery. One of the type of the jQuery drop-down menu I'm going to show you in this example. So here is the example, guys. I'll copy this URL. And, uh, I'll do paste, uh, I'll paste it here so that you can see side by side. You see, these are a few examples of this, uh, you know, jQuery drop-down menus. So here, this drop-down menu will allow you to select multiple options, guys, okay? You can select uh, choice three, choice five, like that, okay? And select somewhere else, it will be selected. Now, here, only one option you can select, but you see sub-options are there. This kind of different type of, uh, you know, features if you want. You see, options are there. Under that, sub-options are there. Either you can select options or you can select multiple sub-options. Up to you. You see, multiple options I can select. In this drop-down field, I can only select one option. And there's only one level of options. Here, multiple levels of options are there in that I can select multiple options. Okay. So, you see, a lot of things. You see, if I select this one, you see all the bill options are getting selected kind of thing. Okay. Multi-selection with cascade option select. Many varieties will be there, guys. Let's not go in that direction. But uh, let's try to see how to automate such kind of uh, jQuery drop-down fields. It's very simple, guys. There is no, you know, uh, there is no different... Uh, learnings that we have to do normal commands we have to use guys we have to click on this drop down using that uh selenium python library click command will be there right uh, we have to click on this drop down once the drop down opens so you can select multiple options again you have to say click click okay you have to put, create proper locators for this drop down field and perform click then this drop down will open when you click here you see when i click here drop down is opening right drop down menu jquery drop down menu is opening then i have to select these options i have to select these options like this that's it cool yeah let's see that now Okay, let's see that now. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, you know, I'll close all this stuff and I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have seen this uh, sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. I need to open the application URL in this get command. For that, uh, I'll copy this URL, guys. Okay, I'll copy this URL where this we we have this jQuery drop-down menu options, menu fields are there. So here, after going to this page, what I have to do, I'll open this URL side by side in this uh, browser also. Like this. Now what I'm going to do is I have to, let's say I want to click on this multi-selection. I'll inspect this, I'll inspect this. When I inspect that, you see the input ID is there. Okay, ID is there for that the multi-selection box grid. You see, for this one, ID is there. Copy this ID and I'll write the code. Normal code you have to write here, it's nothing much. You have to find the drop-down 
jQuery top-down field and uh, we have to locate that with the help of the locator and you pass the ID here in this case and say simple click command case. If you perform click operation, what will happen? It will open the drop-down menu. Okay, jQuery drop-down menu will open. In that, uh, let's say I want to select uh, three and five options. Okay, three and five options. I'll inspect this uh, choice three and you see there is a span tag with some text in between that, uh, but this is not the entire text, exact text, but there is other input tag also. So what I will do is I'll simply say control F. I'll copy this text between the tags, but it's part of the text only between the tags. This is a starting and ending of the tag. But here, along with choice three, we have input. So we have to be clever in creating this kind of, you know, smart in creating this kind of like smart expressions here. I'll simply say double slash span contains I'll use. And here I'll give text and give the choice three and press uh, square bracket and press enter. You see, two of three are still coming, guys, okay? Because there are three drop-down fields, this choice three option is not only there in this uh, this drop-down, this drop but also in other drop-down also, we have choice three. So what I will do is I'll provide square bracket here. Since there are multiple, one of three is coming, so I'll provide circular brackets here and provide one here and press enter. You see, only one element, one of one. And in the first, uh, you see, in the first multi-selection box field only, it's getting selected, okay? Copy this. Export expression of the drop down field and simply uh, the drop down field menu option driver dot find element by dot uh, by dot x path by dot x path. Now provide the x path expression and simply say dot click. Let's say I want to select after choice three, I want to select uh, you know choice five. Inspect this uh, choice five again. The same thing as copy this choice five and paste it here in place of choice three, put choice uh, five and press enter. Now it will select the choice five guys. Okay, one of one is coming. Copy this and come back here and simply write down driver dot find element uh, by dot x path. Give the x path expression and simply say dot click. Done. It will select the choice five. Now choice three, choice five. And after selecting this, I, I want to close this uh, drop down options. For that, I'll click somewhere outside the drop down field. I'll inspect this heading. Inspect this heading and you know. Uh, this H1 is there. Uh, I, uh, there is an ID here. I'll copy this ID. Double slash new at the rate ID is equal to here yeah, slash following hyphen sibling colon colon div. It came from here to here to here. We came under that we have H1. Now say slash H1. You see it located the one of one is coming and it's located the heading. I want to simply click on the heading so that the, the main intention why I'm clicking on the heading is to close the drop down drop down menu. Okay jQuery drop down menu, I want to close. That's the reason I'm clicking on this. Otherwise, I don't. You can click on it. It's not only heading, guys, you can click anywhere. Okay. Now I'll simply add time dot sleep. Okay. Just some time I'll give, some, let's say, you know, uh, five seconds I'll give. Here also, after clicking, I want to see. And uh, I'll copy paste this. Just for demo purpose, I'm adding this time dot sleep here and there, guys. Okay. Now run the script. It's very simple, right? Just clicking on the drop down jQuery drop down menu and then clicking on the or selecting the options. First, it will select the uh, multi selection jQuery and it, then it will select choice three, then choice five after three seconds, choice five, and then it has to select the it has to close the drop down. You see, choice three and choice five are now currently selected in this uh, jQuery drop down menu. So, this is how, guys, we have to automate the jQuery drop down menus using Selenium Python. Okay, with practical demonstration I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.